air tonight. A home burned, a mother found dead inside, but the person police say is responsible wasn't arrested until another man stopped him inside this Grand Prairie salon. This is the man Grand Prairie police have in custody tonight. Thank you for being with us. I'm Doug Dunbar. And I'm Gilma Avalos. And for Kelly O'Kelly, Bill Wynn faces arson, aggravated assault, and murder charges. New at 10, our Marianne Martinez has the latest. Well, Gilman, investigators just left this home, and you can see what they were digging through most of the day here in the garage. The devastation in this house where a single mother lived with her kids as well as the kids she were raising. They were her sisters after she died from cancer a year ago. Last time, Lan Vo saw her friend, Chi Pham. Chi had a new boyfriend. Um, we last talked. She had just started dating him. So she told me that she was in a relationship. Vo says her friend and single mom was excited about the man she had just started dating, Billy's son Wen. They met at the nail salon where they both worked. Vo hasn't seen her friend in months until she heard her house caught fire this morning. Vo rushed to the house where family sat on the lawn across from the devastation. The, I saw the, the house burning, all this smoke coming from the uh, garage. The house on Hastings in Grand Prairie started burning around 10 this morning. Police found the body of a woman identified as fam by friends. Her sister had died from cancer last year and left her three kids. So she's taking care of her own two kids as a single mom and then taking care of her sister, three kids on top of that. Police say Wynn left his girlfriend's house after he set it on fire and went to the nail salon where he pistol whipped a woman and tried to set the salon on fire. And I talked to her mom. You know, I hear the kids crying in the back, crying, and the first thing that come to my mind was, you know, how does a, a child deal when they come home to know that the mom is no longer there. Now that salon where this all came to an end, the nail salon is just a couple minutes away from here, from this home. Police say that a private citizen who was uh, in that salon uh, took the suspect uh, into custody or rather held him in custody until police could arrive and charge him. Uh, at this time, this uh, when has been charged with arson murder as well as assault. Reporting from Grand Prairie, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.